So you want to start a business really, really fast. But you don't know where to start. I'm going to tell you where to start. And I'm going to tell you how to save a lot of money while you're building your business. This video was brought to you by Rugged Collars. Custom made dog and cat apparel. Hit the first link below and save 20%. Since we've made a lot of changes around here and we're helping people start real and legitimate businesses, one of the first things you need to do is start an LLC or an S Corp and run your LLC through that. Now, why do you want to do that? Now, why would you want to do this? I'm going to mention a few names. Bill Gates, Donald Trump, Mitt Romney. See, all of these guys their families, their legacies, these corporations, they have advantages that you can take advantage of if you are leaving, if you're willing to leave your comfort zone. One of the things before I made the big change of the channel was I was doing stuff to get people some money because I knew where many of you were. You didn't, you didn't have any money. You, you didn't have a place to start. You just need to make some scratch, right? Well, now the channel is like, look, free courses, just go below the video, hit that link, you can get 19 free business courses to scale yourself up. And the content and the information that I'm giving out now is for people who are willing to invest in themselves, therefore willing to invest in their businesses. And part of that investment is getting an LLC or an S corporation and having the LLCs go through the S corporation. Now, a big part of this is making a decision because success is inherently about responsibility. And there are many of you don't want to be responsible. That's what you, you hear this stuff like, I don't want to hire anybody. I just want it to be me. No one can do it as good as I can. All that is fear. It is simply fear. I hired my first employee. I, I can't even remember what, when, and it didn't go well. And then I hired someone else and it did go well. And that's how it's going to go. But you need these economic legal entities because an LLC and S Corp, a C corporation, partnerships, trust, these act like financial people. They can have credit records, they can hold property, they can sell property, they can conduct business transactions. Essentially, you can go out and create five LLCs and that's like creating five human beings. For a financial, for, 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 ah, for financial stuff. It's like creating five human beings. You, you need your team, you need your tribe, you can create your financial tribe. You need to do this stuff. And one of the reasons I've been reluctant to talk about this is I just knew a lot of people weren't really vested or committed. But one of the first things you need to do is get yourself an LLC, fill out the paperwork, easily, easy to research, and so you're not treated as a single member entity, but like a real corporation and get rolling. Now, what would you do? First thing you do is you go to your secretary of state, wherever you are and read the rules. They're, they're pretty much most places will let you file online and it takes anywhere from a matter of hours to three days for your LLC. Now, the second thing that you should do is go out and get your business checking accounts. Now see, a lot of things have to happen. You have to think of your business name, you have to think about what you're gonna do, what's, what you're gonna sell, what you, you, you gotta think about all that. Because I had a client, and we talked about that this morning, he went to the bank, opened up a new business account, he was there two hours. I remember opening up my business account, my first business account, it was a bank, Wachovia, way back in the day before it became Wells Fargo. I walked in, I said, I wanna open up a business account, the lady said, oh, Edna does those. Edna went over there. Edna was like, hey, how you doing? Got ID, boom. What's the name of your company? Didn't have to submit any paperwork. She just took my word for it. And I walked out 20 minutes later with a, my, my corporate account. Now, due to the Patriot Act, and I'm, I'm about to get real deep in here, is you gotta go in there and so many things have to happen because all of this stuff is thrust upon you as to protect you from terrorism, Al-Qaeda, all this other bullshit. This is a way to track your ass and track your money. So, but once again, you can still play the game and you can still win. Because even if they're tracking, as we get deeper in this series, because this is just the first of 10, 
There's a lot of stuff that you can still do to protect yourself, protect your money and protect your family. And part of that is making the decision to start a business. I can't say that loud enough, making that decision to start a business. Now, let's talk about the stuff that's going to blow your mind. New Jersey recently instituted a law where if you're caught walking and texting, that's a $50 fine or up to 15 days in jail. Now, let's talk about that. Why would they institute a law like that? Because the tax base is thin. They know by get, going out and hiring an actuary that they're going to get X amount of people who are going to fall into that prey and going to pay that 50 bucks. That's income. Those are what's called invisible taxes. It's a tax. That's what it is. And you're going to see more of that stuff in the future, which means you need an LLC or a C Corp or an S Corp. You need some legal entities where you can gain some of your tax advantages back. I'm going to walk you through what you can do with a simple LLC and you make $150,000. You got a company, right? We're going to call it Broke Dick Danny's Come Up. Broke Dick Danny is coming up. He went from ashy to classy. Made $150,000 in his first year. But he's got a good accountant and he's properly structured. So he gets to take forty-three grand, shoop, and put it into his retirement account. Now Broke Dick was like, you know, he needed a car. So he went ahead and bought a car. He got a cell phone. He got all types of stuff in the business name because it was used for business. And bam, whoa, he rolled off another 20 grand. Wait a minute, we started at 150, 43,000 for investment, 20,000, that's 63,000. We've dropped off a lot of money. Wait a minute, wait a minute, he had to buy health insurance. We, we took deductions for that. Then there's the personal deductions. And then there was, you know, he had to pay Medicare because when you're self employed, you got to pay your side of the payroll taxes. But yet, that's a deduction. Your health insurance, that's a deduction. All of a sudden, Broke Dick Danny is going to pay his 15% on like eight or nine grand. I pause because that's legal. I pause because you can do that if you're willing to play the game. If you want to sit and hope and wish that the game will somehow become fair, if you want to believe that these things are going to get better on their own, fine, turn this video off and go on about your merry, happy life. But if you're like me and you understand what's happening is going to get worse for those who don't take action now, then hmm, just, just buckle in and begin to learn these laws and begin, begin to learn these rules. Now, recently, well, not recently, I had an issue with a legal thing that many people go through and uh, folks were like, you can't win, you can't win. It took me 14 months of fighting. Didn't do it with an attorney, did it by myself. And I walked out there with my shit dismissed, I'm clean. You can do the same thing. Take a few steps, up your game, become more proactive, and you can enjoy the benefits of a Mitt Romney, a Donald Trump, the Walmart family. Any of these investors, you can bring down that benefit on your level where you're getting most of your money and you're using most of your money for you. Because as long as you pay this high ass tax rate and these hidden taxes, you're probably operating on 20 to 30 or 40 percent of your dollar. So 70 to 60 or 50 percent of every dollar you get is gone to some tax. No wonder you're struggling. You have to reclaim your advantages. And the best way to do that is to take advantage of the laws that are in place. I don't believe that we're ever going to go to a flat tax because there are too many ben people benefiting from these loopholes, which you can take advantage of right now. And it all starts with an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp. Now, before we get into the conversation of which one should you form, it depends upon what you're going to do with your business, which requires you to think about it. Think about it. What do you want to do? Do you want to sell the business? Do you want to liquidate at some point? Do you want to be acquired? All of these questions must be answered before you acquire your corporate entity. But that's on you to do the research because there's too many variables and it would literally take me 50, 60 hours of talking just to cover half of them. So with that, subscribe, like, comment. And if you want to be part of some amazing group training, 
which is now 1500 yes it's 1500 dollars a month and you get access to me and this wonderful group of entrepreneurs who are making money the link will be below and you can go from ashy to classy and you can go from being broke dick danny to paid percy it's just a matter of shifting your mindset and making a few strokes of, of your pen on the right paperwork. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you in the next video.